Welcome, everybody. We're going to start in a standing pose, in a standing forward fold. So be easy with yourselves here, bending your knees a lot or a little, relaxing your head, your neck, your jaw. Maybe grabbing opposite elbows eventually. Exhale and just breathe into that forward fold. Deep breath into your nose. Exhale, release everything forward. Bend your knees a little more. Start to feel the belly touch the knees or maybe head that general direction. Catching yourself with your own thighs. Yeah, so as the torso drops, belly and the chest rest on your thighs. Full breath in. Exhale out your mouth. And now inhale, roll up to stand, but go is so slow. So start again. If you started Go so slowly. Engage the low belly. When I say engage, that means just flex the low belly. Make it a little tight as you come up and then feel that belly lift and strengthen the whole way up to stand. Landing as you are in mountain pose. Close your eyes here. <clears throat> Deepen your breath to your... Yeah, deepen your breath. So it's like you inhale, you feel the breath pull down to the bottoms of the feet. Exhale, feel the feet lighten just a little bit on your mat. Inhale, ground down in your feet. Exhale, soften in your feet. Inhale, ground down. I'm going to try something different. So yeah, usually we inhale and take the arms up, don't we? Don't do that. Inhale, feel your feet. Exhale, lift your hands up. <sighs> inhale, float them down. Take your hands to your thighs. Exhale, lift them up. <laughs> I can't do it. Inhale all the way down, yeah. Inhale all the way down. Exhale. Do that a couple more times. And then just when you thought you had yoga down, right? You had it. And we just change one little thing with the breath, exhaling the arms up. Inhaling the arms down. Feel your thighs when you land. Exhale, arms up. Inhale, hands down. Yeah, when you're finished, do more of these. If you need more practice, do more. When you're done practicing, Come to your seat.
yeah, when you're done practicing, choose to come to your seat. No rushing. Hands at heart center. Come back to the normal way you breathe on your mat. Yeah, and do it again. Inhale now, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Two more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Last time, inhale. Exhale to tabletop pose. Yeah, and if you're able, Make your hands turn back towards you. Yeah, and even if you have to come up onto the tips of the fingers, yeah, to start. Maybe one hand and the other. Yeah, maybe it's this way. And now, slowly do cat-cow without hurting yourself. Yeah, cat-cow. If it hurts, come out. If it's awkward, oh well. Yeah, if it's awkward, oh well. Remember earlier, gosh, when was it? Maybe the winter in this class, we talked about tabletop, be, sorry, um, mountain, just standing might be our awkward pose. Little did we know how awkward things would be, right? So keep moving through your cats and cows now. Make it feel the normal way again. So hands down, lift up, round back. Cow and cat. And then try one more exercise in awkward. Inhale into cat pose, exhale into cow, and then switch it back a couple times, right? Undoing what we have learned throughout our lives is not easy. Look at this simple direction to breathe differently when it's our only job, right? This is our only job is to breathe. Notice how difficult it is to retrain your body and your breath. Take a cycle in your normal way. Yeah, so for me, Inhale right now into my cow, exhale into my cat. So that feels more normal, so I'll do that. You do you. Yeah, and do that. Land in child's pose, as some of you already are. Child's pose when you're finished. And rock your head from side to side once you get there. So I came across a book that um, speaks to right now, and it's called Radical Dharma, Talking Race, Love, and Liberation. And I'm going to read a couple pages tonight. I'll just start with a couple paragraphs now. So a man named Rod, who's a Lama, he says, many of us are really unstudied, unexamined, unquestioned. We're kind of operating on the sense of what we think we're talking about. We're not located fully within our experiences. 
we are not embodied because that takes opening the closet and owning what's in there and being vulnerable around what is in the closet. Tap into the music of this space. Five breaths. Last three full breaths. Yeah, good everyone. Last time, full breath into your nose. Exhale, out your mouth. Inhale deeply. Exhale, down dog. Walk it out, yeah, walk it out. If you're here on the property, listen to the drums of our neighbors, happy and grateful for their noise, happy and grateful for their music, happy and grateful for their collaboration, Inhale, right leg to the sky. Yeah, nice everybody. Full attention to that breath. Send your heel to the ceiling, the non-existent ceiling, I should say. Bend your knee. Yeah, maybe the knee goes toward the sky. Either way, make some circles going one direction. Yeah, nice. And then the other. Deep, full breath. Exhale, take your knee to your nose and round your spine into a cat back and stay for three breaths if you can. You all are strong. Yeah, your third breath, you'll breathe it to the sky. Exhale, humble warrior one. Lift your heart first. Exhale and bow. Deep breath in, open your mouth. Exhale, open your mouth. Feel your back foot present. Back foot present in the front foot. Deep breath, arms to the sky. Exhale, warrior two pose. Yeah, you all go to warrior two. Deep, full breath into your warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Four more breaths with me. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Let it go. Full breath into your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Full breath in. Last one. 
Exhale, reverse your warrior. Yeah, keep reversing and straighten your front leg if you'd like. Yeah, pressing the ball of that front foot, either way, straight or bent knee, press the ball of the front foot down. Let that toe ground you here. Reverse a little more, good, if you're able, nice. Inhale now. This time, exhale all the way down to your mat, your first chaturanga perhaps. Maybe you take it down and you start with cobra. See, either way, if your first inhale is up dog or cobra, yeah. Downward dog. Left leg lifts up. Bend your knee. Yeah, feel it and make your circles now going one way and then the other. To the spaces between the drums and the bells allow you, allow you to hear the cracks in your joints, allow you to hear your breath. Yeah, when you're finished, take your knee to your nose on a breath and stay for three breaths. And then after your three, landing in your warrior two, sorry, warrior one, humble warrior one. Bowing in. Back foot roots down again. Yeah, you feel it? Even on this mushy grass, you're rooting down. Full breath, arms lift up as you breathe in. Exhale, warrior two pose. Yeah, take your warrior two pose. Set your gaze at your middle front finger. If you feel really strong here, close your eyes. Yeah, feel how the pose changes when your eyes aren't engaged. Yeah, nice everyone. On a breath, pop your eyes open. Yeah, and straighten your leg and reverse. Yeah, that leg can just grow long again. Feel the front foot root down. Gazing up and catching maybe the grayish, bluish sky in your eye. Inhale. Exhale, high push-up pose. Down dog might be the pose for you at the moment. Yeah, you got it lower down. Go back, yeah, if you're not already there, down dog. Deep breath in. Open your mouth and exhale. Inhale, lift your right hand. Step it back to your, towards your foot. Exhale, left, lift your left hand. <laughs> yeah, walk it back. So walk your feet back. Uh-huh, you got it. Sorry, it's hard to teach it backwards too, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, now stay in your forward fold and grab your opposite elbows. Again, hang here. Deep breath into your nose. Open your mouth, exhale. In, up, stand. 
Exhale, catch your right wrist with, sorry, left wrist with your right hand and bend to your right. Inhale, switch sides. Arms lift up when you're done. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift and walk yourself into a high plank pose or a down dog. You'll take your chaturanga if you'd like, slowly lowering with breath. Downward dog. Right leg lifts high. Roll your ankle now, making circles with your foot one direction, circles with your foot the other direction. Inhale so deeply. Exhale, take that knee to your right elbow. Three breaths there. Yeah, three breaths. And then step into warrior one, humble warrior one. Holding in here, giving way to gravity. How do we undo what we've learned? How do we keep what's good, what's useful? Shake your head out, see if you can get rid of something, some thought, some stupid thing someone said to you, just let it go. And now with the breath of like, I really let it go and here I'm feeling so much better, arms to the sky, inhale, exhale, warrior two. Yeah, warrior two pose. Gaze forward and look, look at your middle finger again. Soften though, yeah, soften into it. So yeah, sometimes like we, we get vulnerable. You all ever do this, you're vulnerable and then you like, oh, you suck it back in, right? You're like, oh, why was I vulnerable? Open it back up. Full breath. Yeah, stay here. Soften more. Strengthen in your feet. Soften in your face and your jaw and your arms. Strengthen in your feet. One more breath. Inhale, reverse. Side angle pose. High push up, slowly down. Yeah, high plank, take it down slowly. Up dog or cobra, yeah, beautiful. Go back, down dog. Lift your left leg to the sky. Yeah, roll your foot a couple times, one way and the other. Yeah, let it feel good. Yeah, and you remember where we're heading. It's hard to forget that three breaths hovering there. So when you're ready, you'll take your three breaths, knee to your, your wrist, sorry, your elbow. And then you come right into humble warrior again. 
Yeah, really nice, everyone. Arriving when you are ready to a practice. Relax your jaw. Maybe you open your mouth really big and move your lower jaw from side to side a couple of times. You hear little cracks and pops. It's normal. It's tightness, tension. The only way to get out of it is to move it around. So remember to move it around while you're watching TV or driving or whatever. Yeah, inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior two pose. Set your gaze again at that front middle finger. Soften, find, find the finger and then soften into the arms and shoulders. Inhale, reverse. Stretch that leg long if that's good in your practice today. And then on an exhale, go to your side angle pose. Set yourself up here so that yeah, here for 20 breaths, you might be able to actually do it. So how can you make a pose that doesn't add tension to the body and strengthens you, right? And it's, so it's the feet, it's the inner thighs really squeezing toward each other here. If you try that, it's a weird thought. But yeah, just activating the lower body. Yeah, beautiful. And then the hand is soft, the face can be soft. Take your deep breath in. Exhale, on your inhale, try going down through a chaturanga. <laughs> you might have to, you don't know, Daph. You might have to sometime. <laughs> yeah, it felt impossible. Down dog. Yeah, and then recover. You know, it's like you go on a trip too where you everybody's speaking a different language. Yeah, and you're like outside of it and you're used to it. And then, but then you go home, right? Then you go home to your couch and your cat or whatever. Make this your couch and your cat right now in your pose. So restful in a down dog, restful in a child's pose, either one. Full breath. Yeah, nice, Monica. Child's pose. Drop your belly your thighs. If you're feeling anxious at any time, not just now, but ever, come to the ground and make your thighs come right alongside your belly or your torso. And then like, if you're like me and you bet you got a COVID belly going, you just drop it down between that space and everything feels delicious, right? So, full breath. Back 
equals compost. Right arm peels to the sky. Take it overhead, yeah. So just make your bicep go towards your right ear. Stretching through the side and the upper back. Inhale, exhale, float that hand down. Inhale, switch sides. So get that same feeling. Yeah, we're going there. <laughs> I got to do it. I got to do it. Yeah, stretch the side now. So I'm actually extending my left fingers over my ear and I'm twisting my hips to the right and making a nice long stretch and feeling it in my shoulder, my arms, my back. Yeah, now take it down and now right arm goes back to the sky. You're gonna thread the needle, so thread the right arm under the left. And since we did that extra little stretch, see if there's something new here for you in this pose. I feel like it's one I haven't done outside or taught outside much. But really this is the ideal space because that grass feels good under the face or the side of the head. So can you just drop into our grass? Yeah, make this your home. Take three to five more breaths or more if that's what you'd like and then switch sides. Back to the book. Healing can be started now. I get pushback from people who say, no, we need to end oppression or we need to end all of these systems of oppression. And I think that's how we get lost and distracted from the work of healing. He writes, I'm working to end racism, but at the same time, I want liberation for myself. I want to thrive and I want to be happy. How can we bring the ethic of healing back into our communities, into our sanghas, which is another word for community, into our households, into our relationships, and into our organizations? Settle down in. So this class is titled The Revolution Will Not Be Televised by um, referencing the Gil Scott Heron song, right? But really the book that I'm reading is, this, is how that happened. So I felt like it was appropriate to share some of it with you tonight. Stay here for three to five more breaths. Remember, we, want, we all want the same thing. We all breathe the same air. So just fall into that. We're all the same. We're doing the work. Two more breaths. You're perfect as you are. Inhale. Exhale, come out, readjust yourself. Yeah, maybe you need to wag your tail a little bit or drop your head. Just kind of flow with movement here in your tabletop pose. Yeah, nice. You'll eventually make yourself 
go back to down dog or if child's pose is really your pose tonight, you'll go there, but downward dog. And lift your heels, lift your palms and walk your hands and palms to the center of your mat. So see if you can meet halfway in the middle. Yeah. And then when you get there, sit back chair pose. Exhale, bow. Hug your knees if you're able, or just grab behind your hamstrings with your hands, whatever serves your body, yeah. And if you can, see if you can take your gaze up to your own navel. If you can't, pretend that you can take your, your gaze up to your navel and do some navel gazing inward. Like what, what do I need now? What am I not getting? What am I not doing? What should I do more of? What do I want? And then walk yourself back when you're done to downward dog. And take it slow, right? So you might have been like, I really just want an impossible burger from Burger King, mm -hmm. right? That is a valid human need. <laughs> or maybe something bigger, but either way, it's a desire that you need to fulfill. So walk into it, bend opposite knees, shake the head out a bit. When you're ready, you're gonna take the right leg to the sky and you're gonna go home here and just take your knee to your nose three times with breath. Simple, you've done it a million times, some of you. And then you're gonna step upside down into standing split and you're gonna do it like it's new to you. Yeah, nice. And instead of going outside of yourself, think about how it feels in your body. From a busy street corner, doing yoga in public, and I'm telling you, don't give a damn what it looks like, okay? Don't care. How does it feel? If it feels okay, you're gonna grow open to half moon from here. And then, yeah, if you come to my class, you know this is my favorite pose, I think. So you all have probably done it a lot, just with me alone. So you're familiar with it, perhaps. Do something different, even if it means you think you failed in the pose, right? Like you just fall on your face. Don't break your nose, but you fall on your face. Yeah, nice. So open and come out when you're ready. So it's your, your new version. So you don't, only you know how long you're gonna stay in it, right? And when you're done, you might want to come back again. But when you're done, just go to the other side. Remember, we were down dogging on the left, on this side. We took the knees simply to the nose three times. Not simply, but in our usual way, right? Standing split. Deep breath, everyone. 
opening up to your half moon. Breathe deeply in your pose. Coming out when you're ready, you're gonna land in a chaturanga when you're done. Meeting back in down dog. Lift your heels, come to the top of your mat sitting back chair pose yeah chair pose hands at heart press the palms together like there's something in there that you want to hold tight but not break it so maybe it's like a little egg yeah so press with energy but leave space for change space for a little bit of opening Exhale, bow forward. <sighs> Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, grab your left wrist with your right hand and bend to your right. Inhale. Exhale, switch sides. Hands back up. Hands at your heart center. Eagle pose. Yeah, eagle pose. Right leg crosses over left. Right arm under left, or just give your arms your, yourself a hug and lift your shoulder. Sorry, elbows up and then press them down. Inhale, exhale, other side, eagle pose, right foot grounds down, left crosses over, left arm comes under right, <laughs> maybe, find your breath, yeah, find your breath, either way. Exhale, let it go and bow. Step or hop back, down dog or high plank pose. Yeah, lower down or just go back to dog. Right leg to the sky, bend your knee, flip your dog if you like, or just take your knee to the sky and make those circles again, yeah. And if you're upside down, yeah, let your head see behind you a little bit. Inhale. Exhale, flip back over, and then take your knee to your right wrist. Do that three times with breath. Landing in half pigeon when you're finished. Bow down.
So continuing with this reading, the, this changing, this, um, let's see, how do we call it? This ending oppression and changing systems, the notion of transforming society from inside out, it's something challenging for people to understand. We have to do it outside first, is what many people say, but understanding that part of our capacity to make change outside, you know, outside in a way that's actually generative comes from having done the work inside so we can actually have empowerment that doesn't have to do with external conditions. We have models for this on a grand scale. All people admire Nelson Mandela for his refusal to be imprisoned in his own being, which enabled him to come out of prison after 28 years, which then gave room for a level of change to happen on a social level in South Africa. Five more breaths. Two more full inhales. Last one, inhale deeply. Exhale fully. On your next breath, lift up, lead with your chin and just come up, stretch, open. Yeah, rock your head from shoulder to shoulder. When you're finished, go on to the other side. So taking the leg to the sky, shaking it out and then switching to your left leg. Took it to the, the wrist three times on your right. So you'll do that again when you're ready. And then you'll land in half pigeon pose, left side. Yeah, good. Oh yeah, we forgot to flip. We'll get it on the other end instead. Deep in your breath. Five more, four breaths. Deep breath into your nose. Open your mouth, exhale. your neck. Lift your chin again. Yeah, that felt good. Move your shoulders around a bit. And when you're finished with those movements, go ahead and take a 
Down dog, your last one of this practice. Walk it out. Yeah, and we did not flip our dog, so on the left side. So if you flipped, you should flip. And if you didn't, you should get that nice thigh stretch. So bend your knees and the knee to the ceiling or the sky, I should say. When you are finished, come to your belly. Bend your knees and wet out any shield wiper your legs from side to side. Just feel that in your low back. So try to feel the belly really firm on the mat, the hips, the pelvis firm on the mat. And just as you rock from side to side, see how that feels on the low back. Yeah. And then slowly switching to your back, whenever you're ready, making a happy baby once you get there. Go ahead and let that go into your resting pose whenever you're finished. Deep breath in. Exhale.
take one hand on your heart and one hand above your belly. So in that space between the belly button and the rib cage. And as you finish your rest, I'll finish these, this couple of paragraphs from Radical Dharma. Understanding that part of our capacity to make change outside in a way that's actually generative comes from having done the work inside so we can actually have empowerment that doesn't have to do with external conditions. We have models for it on a grand scale. So like Nelson Mandela, she says, I'm not saying that we should only just work on ourselves and, I do, and not do any work outside, but I think it's immature to believe that all I have, all, sorry, it's image, an immature view that believes I have to do all of the external conditions and have them all perfect and then I'll change. We have to commit to our own liberation regardless of what's happening outside. Paradoxically, that will give change to what is happening outside. If I were having this conversation about anger and fire and brimstone and kill Whitey, then I wouldn't be here, frankly, she says. This is not what people would be investing in in a conversation. It's about love, commitment to changing inward first or at least simultaneously. With that, take a deep breath into your nose. See if you can exhale out something that you learned that you wanna get rid of. Spend time unlearning Hands may come together on your chest if you'd like. Peace to you, peace to those you know and love, peace to the planet, namaste.